Rooster! Harvesting your first bird is always a really uh, fun memory, especially if you have family and friends that are around to witness something like that. Those are the stories that you don't forget. And uh, it really just sets up the confidence to move forward and to feel more comfortable in the field. And you're going to have a lot of stories. That's what I think hunting and, and is really about, is sharing those stories and with family members and sharing those experiences and having memories that last a lifetime. I was visiting with North American Hunter and they approached us with the idea of doing a youth hunt, a couple young girls that had never hunted before, basically first time hunters that just got their hunter safety course done. The first night when um, North American Hunter come to town, we thought it'd be a great idea. We wanted to come up with something to break the ice, get the girls comfortable with Laura, and we come up with the idea of bowling. We had a really good time. It was fun to warm up and get to know both of them. and. And what a fun bowling alley. It was built in like the 1950s and it's here in Clark, South Dakota. And the fact that it's still running and uh, it was a really good time. So it would be a good idea to go shoot a little trap. That way we could see how well they handled the guns, you know, if they could handle it. And, I mean, for all we knew, we didn't even know if they knew how to load the gun, you know. I'm ready. First go around, three out of the gate. Missed all three, you know. So we get Michaela up there, same thing. She misses three. And then we had Laura shoot, and she was two for three, which is really good. But I think the girls seeing Laura shoot that way just kind of gave them confidence knowing, hey, I can do that too. There you go. There you go. Nice. Nice shoot, hey, two for two. <laughs> wow. There we go. All right, ladies. I think we've had enough of this. You guys ready to hit the pheasant field? Definitely. Yeah. Let's do it. Keep your safeties on at all times and keep your gun barrels pointed up at the sky at all times. So I can tell you that I went through plenty of pheasant fields with my dad personally and missed a lot of pheasants before I got my first one, which probably won't happen to you. <laughs> Turned around and we started walking some grass and I mean we, we couldn't have been 20 yards in and one flushes. Nice one comes across, coming from left to right. Okay, it was on my left. Takes just a beautiful shot and just dropped that thing. Nice shot! <laughs> Look at that baby yeah. run though. Go get it. Yeah, got it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was surprised and happy. I knew my dad was gonna be pretty excited. Congratulations! Oh. Thank you. How does it feel? It's your first rooster. Ball Here comes right here. Buster. Buster. Oh, shit. Buster. Buster retrieved your first bird for you. Look at that. Look how beautiful he is. Nice colors. Tell he tried to get rid of the goggles, but they'll pull the tail colors out. We're just trying to run. A nice shot. The first bird you shot first at. First shot. Huh? Nice oh, work. Congratulations. How does it feel? Fine. Fine. <laughs> nice shot. Nice shot. I'm gonna bring my doesn't home show my family. I think they'll pre be pretty excited. She's gonna carry it, it's part of the fun. After Michaela shot her first bird, I started getting a little antsy, me telling myself that it's my time, it's my time to shoot a bird now. Michaela had one her first shot, dropped a bird. So I think um, Clarissa was probably pushing a little too much you know, she's a little tense. She didn't want to pull the gun up. She'd pull it up, but she was kind of missing a couple. And she missed a few birds. You know, and you could just tell her confidence kind of getting down there. But she just, she kept plugging away. She stayed in line. And we were walking in a patch. And one guy up comes all the way across the field. And Clarissa shot across. Awesome job! Congratulations! Just a beautiful shot. Same thing, her smile rose up, her shoulders were up, and I think it made the rest of the walk a lot easier. Yeah, good job. Thanks. Congratulations, nice girls. I was ready for that one. <laughs> you were. Here, put this in your phone. You can your first bird. It actually felt really good. Felt something to be proud of. You know, something that your parents will be proud of for you. You know, there's a, 
an adrenaline rush that happens when you when you get your first bird or when you catch your first trophy fish. And so I was excited for both of them to, to have that opportunity to shoot their first pheasant. And, and part of that is, I said, now they have bragging rights, you know. Not only can they um, bowl a really good game, they can shoot some pheasants. So um, they've got a lot to be proud about. Nice there shot! Go. <laughs> Good job! Like a pet under the swing right there. There it is. You almost had a nice grab there. Yeah. That was out of left field. A little over my head. I'm curious one. All right. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> that Teamwork. Was a Teamwork. Nice shot. Nice shot. That's one of the toughest shots you'll ever get when that bird's coming at you just like that. So that was a very nice job. Thank you. You set a good example for these young ladies to have a shot like that. So. Thank you. Growing up, my father always had the motto that he lived by, which was introduce a kid to the great outdoors. And so it feels good for me to be able to do the same thing with um, both Clarissa and Michaela today is to you know introduce them to the wonderful world of pheasant hunting. And um, it was fun to witness both of them shoot their first pheasant. One More Thing is brought to you by Can-Am. The ride says it all. Human odor, well, it can ruin any hunt if you don't control it. And to control it, it all starts right here with your clothing. You need to find a quality product like Scent Killer Clothing Detergent and wash it. Now here's the next key step. Scent Killer Gold. Well, you know about other sprays, I'm sure, but this spray here, it's been proven at Rutgers University to be more than 99% effective on replicated human odor. But that's not all. When you spray your clothes down liberally, and I mean soaking wet, everything, then let it dry, it will last for 10 days. The effects, get that, for 10 days. Store it in an airtight tote, one of those plastic totes, and you're ready to go day after day for 10 days. And you know what? That's the kind of product I like. One shot and I'm hunting for 10 straight days. Up next, one animal, two hunters, and a clear difference of opinion. You Call the Shots is next.